Are you concerned that your mother is on too many prescription medications? Does your father take so many pills in the morning he isn't hungry for breakfast? Do you wonder if any of the medications that your parents are on could be stopped, preventing side effects and saving them some money? Today we'll be discussing the problem of polypharmacy, which is taking too many medications, and what can be done to get your mother or father on the fewest medications possible to keep them healthy and safe. By subscribing to my channel and hitting that little bell, you'll be notified every Monday when I post another video that will help you to care for your aging parents and navigate through the sometimes confusing healthcare system. As a pharmacist and the daughter of older parents, I have helped many adult children as they take over the role of caregiver to their elderly parents. One of the most frustrating problems I see as a pharmacist is when an elderly person is on so many medications they must rattle when they walk. Patients over the age of 65 only make up 15% of the United States population. However, they take 35 to 50% of all of the medications, both prescription and over-the-counter. This is because elderly people have multiple health problems, multiple doctors, and sometimes multiple pharmacies. Also, we've been conditioned to believe that there has to be a pill for whatever ails us, so we expect a medication when we walk into the physician's office. So exactly what is polypharmacy? While some define polypharmacy as one person taking more than five medications, the simplest definition is taking any number of medications that are unnecessary. More than 40% of elderly patients take more than five medications daily. Nearly 12% take 10 drugs daily. Taking multiple medications can cause confusion as to what time they're supposed to be taken and how often they're supposed to be taken. So drug errors happen. And what if your father decides that he's taking way too many medication and he decides to throw out one? What if the one he decides not to take any longer is his blood thinner that's to prevent clots? Drugs come with side effects, and multiple drugs come with multiple side effects. If your mother is taking one medication that can cause dizziness, and she adds a second medication that can cause dizziness, she has just doubled her risk of having a life-threatening fall. If you take two drugs, you have the risk of a drug-drug interaction. If your dad is taking five drugs, he has a 50% of having a drug-drug interaction. This increases to 100% if your mother is taking more than 20 drugs. I have had patients that were on 28 different medications they took multiple times a day. What kind of chemistry experiments were going on in their bodies? The medications can be expensive. Even if your parent has a relatively low medication copay, such as $10 per prescription per month, if they're taking 10 medications each month, that's $100. That's $1,200 per year. How many elderly people have to decide between food and medications if they don't have an extra $100 a month? And what if three of those medications are unnecessary? That would be a savings of $30 a month or $360 per year if they were only taking the less expensive meds. And if the medications are relatively low in cost, and the insurance company is only paying $10 per medication per month to the pharmacy, and that's way too low, and every Part D patient is on three unnecessary medications, there are 43 million people in the United States of Medicare Part D. That's 129 million unnecessary medications each year that Medicare Part D patients are taking. If the insurance company is paying $10 to the pharmacy for each prescription and the patient is paying $10 copay for each prescription, that's $1.29 billion wasted by the insurance company and $1.29 billion wasted by the elderly each year on medications that they don't need. That's a grand total of $2.58 
billion dollars wasted on unnecessary medications each year. And that's a low estimate because most medications cost much more than $20. What could we do with 2.58 billion with a B dollars each year to provide medical care that is truly needed? Did you have any idea how much money we were wasting on unnecessary medications? If you are surprised by this number, comment below. Wow! So what is the solution to polypharmacy? First, we need to make sure that every pill that we are taking has a reason. It may turn out that your parent needs absolutely every medication they are taking to stay healthy. Ask the physician to include the diagnosis for every prescription so that the pharmacist can include it on the label. Then periodically, your father's conditions need to be reevaluated. Did the problem go away? Is the medication still necessary? I can't count how many times I've had a patient tell me, I don't know why I'm taking the allergy medication. I don't have allergies. So when we dig deeper, we find out that they were prescribed the antihistamine for a cold they had three years ago, and they never questioned why they were still taking it. So three years later, they're still taking an antihistamine on a daily basis. Ask your pharmacist for a periodic medication review. Medicare Part D will usually pay for a med review once a year, especially if the patient is on multiple medications. This service is invaluable, so when your pharmacist calls you to make an appointment, make the appointment and keep it. If you develop a new ache or pain, rather than taking an over-the-counter pill, try exercise, massage, or heating pad. Use only one pharmacy and ask your pharmacist any time you do need an over-the-counter medication. By using one pharmacy, they will have all of your prescriptions on file so that they can do a med list review to determine whether the over-the-counter product you want to buy would be safe with the medications that you're already taking. Also avoid treating the side effects of one medication by adding another medication. If you develop a new symptom such as cough or dizziness or dry eyes, ask your pharmacist to look over your meds and see if there's something that could be causing this. Take that information to your physician and ask them if there would be a safe alternative for you to use that wouldn't cause that side effect. Are you taking care of an elderly parent and are concerned about the amount of medications they take and other aspects of their life? I've written an ebook that helps parents and children address subjects that may be difficult to bring up but are necessary to plan for the future. You will find the link to get this free resource in the description below. I am sure it will help start the conversations that are so important. If you have found this video helpful to ensure that your mother and father take only the medications they absolutely need, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. And consider subscribing to my channel so you don't miss any tips on how to care for your aging parents. Are you concerned about the changes that you've noticed in your parents recently? Have you noticed they're not driving as safely as they should and you're worried about them being out on the road? Check out my video on assessing if your parents are safe to drive. Thank you for joining me today to learn how to determine whether your father and mother are on too many medications. I hope it's been helpful. Have a blessed week.